Hello, everybody. Today we're gonna start unit number nine. Generally speaking, how typical are you? Now let's see. We're gonna work with contrasting um, clauses. We have here the typical Italian person, the typical Japanese person. So according to the information, it says that drinks 155 liters of bottled water per year. In contrast, Japanese drinks 10 liters of bottled water per year. Then consumes 3.2 kilograms of coffee per year. Consumes 1.4 kilograms of coffee per year. That's it's less. Consumes 1, uh, oh, 0.1 kilograms of tea per year. Consumes uh, 0.9 kilograms of tea per year. Visits the doctor six times per year. Visits the doctor 40 times per year. Watches 27 hours of TV per week. Watches 21 hours of TV per week. Gets married at 30 years old for men and 27 years old for women. Gets married at 30 years old for men or 27 years old for women. It's just quite the same. It's the same. Studies for 7.2 years after the age of 15. Studies 9.5 years after the age of 15. Travels 710 kilometers by rail per year. Travels 1,900 kilometers by rail per year. So it's even more. Now we're going to fill in the next information, the next plans, completing this, this, these statements using all well, the information above. Okay, so this time we're going to start checking it. And also we're going to highlight the contrasting words. For example, we have unlike, unlike the Japanese, coma, Italian seems to drink a lot of bottled water. While the typical, what, the typical person studies until the age of 22. Okay, studies of the age of 22, that's, um, this is the Italian-Japanese, yeah. Then, the, yeah, typical studies, person studies until the age of 22, the typical Italian... A person studies until the age of 22, the typical Japanese person studies until the age of 24. Then both uh, like, both like TV, except that the typical Italian person watches more. In contrast to Italians, the Japanese travel a lot more on rail, no? By rail. Both groups are fairly different except for the age of getting married. Yes, they get married. So this is like contrasting the ideas. And well, that's just typical says here. Per works, what are typical examples of these things in your hometown? Well, actually, that will be our activity plan for today. This is our activity plan for today. You're gonna um, compare your culture to other cultures or other cultures among other cultures. So it says that typical examples of these things in your hometown, no, the store, at home, job, car. Okay, so uh, what is the typical store in your hometown? No, something called dollar stores. They are household goods, clothes, stores, and lots of other stuff, and everything really expensive. No? So you can describe your hometown or other places if you want using the contrasting. Uh, Classes. Well, we're gonna go here. It says have contrasts and exceptions. It says classes and phrases showing contrasts and exception. As you see, we already highlighted those expressions. We have used while, unlike, and in contrast to in order to present contrasting information, especially in writing. While the typical Italian person studies until the age of 22, comma, the typical Japanese person studies until the age of 24. Unlike the Japanese, comma, Italian seems to drink a lot of bottled water. In contrast to Italians, comma, the Japanese travel a lot more by rail. And use except, except that, except, except for, and except for the fact that, and except for the fact, to show an exception. Both like TV, comma, except, or except that, the typical Italian person watches more. Italian and Japanese people are fairly different, comma, except for the age that get married. Japanese people typically consume less Coma, except for the fact they drink more tea. Now let's gonna go and try to answer the next exercise. 
we're gonna do it together. It's time that you can pause the video in this section in order to see your results. Well, here's some information about customs. How are they different in other places? Right sentence showing contrast and indicating exceptions. So now let's see. All right, so you will answer these uh, statements, these sentences with your own ideas. For example, when people in the US go to party, they usually arrive a few minutes late. Unlike people in the US, most people where I live arrive on time for parties. Most people in Canada have cereal and milk to breakfast, for breakfast, sorry, some days of the week. Most people in the US who study a foreign language in college choose Spanish. In the UK, it's common for friends to split the bill at the restaurant. For people in Italy, coma, lunch is the main meal of the day. Women in Spain usually kiss people on both cheeks when they meet. Okay, so we can use these expressions while, unlike, in contrast, no? For example, most people in Canada have cereal and milk for breakfast some days of the week. Okay, for example, you can say, while in Mexico, people have eggs with ham, chorizo, and other toppings. And they have, um, well, we have, actually, no? Heavy dinners, no? Compared to other countries, no? that they eat um, lighter than us. And then the next one, are you typical? Complete these sentences and compare with a partner. Unlike most people where I live, I don't own a car. In contrast to most of my friends, okay, while a lot of the people where I live, I'm similar to many of my friends except that, okay? So that will be the activity of today. We're gonna complete this um, any of these sentences on the post right here below and try to use, well, use the while and like and accept that, except for expressions, okay? And then we have a discussion. Choose the answer that makes your sentence true for you. Then compare answers with your group. Are you typical in your group? I need six or less, seven, eight or more hours of sleep for community. Uh, commuting, I rely mainly on buses, subways, trains, taxis, a car, Uber, no? I tend to eat healthy, unhealthy, snacks between meals. I spend the most time with my friends in person, on the phone, online. Uh, then uh, button, I button my clothes from the top down or bottom up. Oh, actually, I'm from the, from uh, the, from up, from up to down. A great night out should include a movie, play, concert, sporting event. Okay, so this is the activity of today. So I want you to post the um, your comments, complete this, uh, any of these sentences. Okay, complete it with your own information. Look carefully the words that we have to complete this task. As you can see, we have while, unlike, in contrast to. And also in order to contrast information. Now we have also accept that, except for, etc., 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 to show an exception. Mm -hmm. And that will be pretty much it for today. Okay, so remember, you can post and complete any of these uh, statements, sentences to complete your task of this video. So hope that you have a nice day. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.